हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू द डेमो ऑफ माय फ्री वेब सर्विस दैट आई डिप्लॉयड ऑन माय वेबसाइट व्हिच अलाउज यू टू मर्ज मल्टीपल वीडियोस टुगेदर एंड सेव द रिजल्ट इनसाइड द रिजल्टेंट फाइल सो वी हैव एक्स वी आर जस्ट आई हैव डेवलप्ड दिस सर्विस यूजिंग fffmpg वेब असेंबली सो बेसिकली इफ यू जस्ट टाइप हियर fffmpg वेब असेंबली यू विल बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू इट्स ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट इट हैज गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो बेसिकली fffmpg इज अ ऑडियो एंड वीडियो प्रोसेसिंग लाइब्रेरी टिपिकली यू यूज इट इनसाइड द वेब सर्वर but uh, in this tutorial i will tell you how to use it in the browser side using web assembly web assembly you know that it is uh, a programming language web assembly which is a low level language and uh, with the help of which we will be using ffmpg in the browser itself so no server side will be involved we will not be storing files which we will be taking from the user we will be processing it inside the browser itself we will make use of memory temporary memory we will store the file in the temporary mem memory process it and then delete it so this is the ffmpg web assembly guys you can read more about it inside the documentation the documentation is quite good you can build out a complete video editor in the browser itself you don't need the server side but for building this application we will be using express just to host this application it is not required that you uh, use express for this it is uh, just not mandatory but we are using express for our server so if you are watching it for the very first time guys then please hit the like button subscribe to channel as well so you can see let me just uh, tell you the web service so the i have given the link in the video description of my web service so you can go to the web service simply type here merge videos so this is a web service which comes in which allows you to merge multiple videos so basically you can select here multiple videos so this is the two videos i am selecting here both are mp4 and as i select this you will see processing video in seconds so whenever it will process all the seconds which are present inside the video then it will automatically download the resultant file which will be the merger of these two videos so in this way you can merge multiple files there is no size limit there is no size limit which is there inside this tool you can upload unlimited amount of files inside this so basically if you upload larger files you should wait for a while because uh, as you see it is showing the progress bar so you need to be patient because video processing takes a lot of time because a lot of resources are involved in these operations so you need to wait until the process is complete so that's why i have shown this progress bar right here itself so that the user can't left the page so it is just processing it so after the full processing is done guys it will automatically download the resultant file as an attachment you don't need to do anything from your end you just need to select the files which needs to be merged and automatically this application will do the task for you and also show the progress bar so basically ffmpg is running in the background in the client side this is a fun part of web assembly which makes it possible to run ffmpg in the browser itself before this it was not possible to run ffmpg in the browser so with the help of web assembly we are able to run ffmpg in the browser which makes it quite a fun little project because you can build out applications which are very much use user friendly because many a times you will need a application to merge videos together so this application will help you in completing that task so all the source code guys for this application i have given in the video description this is my step by step blog post which i have given here you can go to the video description link to download all the source code so it is just processing it guys so if the file is longer then it will take a long time so make sure that you put this inside the background just do other task and when it is complete it will automatically download the file for you so it is just merging it so just wait
So now guys, you can see automatically the resultant file is downloaded as the attachment, which is MP4 file. There is again an option merge videos again. So if you click it, you will be redirected to the home page. So this page refresh is required guys because to release the temporary memory that was holding the previous process was holding. So that's why the page refresh is necessary. That's why I build this application like this. If you open the video, you will see that it has merged these two videos together like this total 36 seconds are there. So in this way, guys, you can build out this application. You can use it also. The link will be there inside video description. So now let's get started by building this application. So for building this, you will need FFmpg library. So make sure that you have FFmpg installed on your computer. So download this. It is not required that you have FFmpg. But I am trying to say that you need to have the WebAssembly CDN. That was my scenario. So for building this guys, I have uh, uploaded many videos of FFmpg WebAssembly on my channel previously. Three, four videos I have made the similar applications. So the process will remain the same guys. You need to make an express app, just upload, make an index.js, start your express application at a port number. Just change this port number to 6000 and uh, just copy paste these middleware functions guys these are very much necessary in order to use ffmpg in the browser you need to copy this code so i have given this code in the video description of the blog post so make sure that you copy this apart from that we are loading a index.html file when we hold the home page and then we are starting this app on the port number which is 6000 and then guys inside index.html uh, the interface will change here or the rest of the things will remain constant. If you have watched my previous videos, you will be knowing what I am doing right here. So let me copy this. Just the interface will be changed. We are using some bootstrap. You will see we have included the CDN for bootstrap. So this was a previous tutorial where we recorded video from the webcam. So here you need to paste it. This is the interface guys, compress video online. This is a title and then we are expecting multiple videos. We are having accept. So this will only accept video files. We have given this ID to uploader class of form control. These are all bootstrap classes and it should be required. And then we have a simple button which will actually merge the videos. And then we have again a new button which will merge videos again. So this button will not be shown to the user when the application loads for the very first time. So this is the overall interface of the application guys. We can now run this application. So if I go to this local host 600. So now uh, let me see what is the problem. Uh, record webcam. Uh, let me see. It has changed to 6000. Nodemon index.js. Let me start this. So, once again, if I reload this localhost 6000, I think, yeah, it is saying unsafe port. So, I need to change to 2222 localhost 2222 so now you can see this is our application compress video online so if you click the choose file button you can able to select multiple files this will only select video files here so right here guys we have included the uh, if you see inside javascript we are using jquery and also we have included the minified version of FFmpg WebAssembly library. So make sure that you copy these two script tags. So inside video description, I have given this link here. You can just copy this. So now guys, what we need to do in order to compress the video, uh, let me delete these functions. These are not required. Let me delete. Also delete this. So the very first line guys we have written, you can see we are importing the FFmpg library. These two methods we are importing create FFmpg and fetch file. 
these are required in every application that you developed using FFmpg WebAssembly. The second step is to create a progress bar. So this will also be necessary. This will also be same for every application if you want to show the progress bar. So I have written in every application. You can see that create F FFmpg progress E. First of all, we are disabling the button by its ID and then we are changing the text that is processing video in seconds. So E dot time. So this will get the actual time of the video. That's it. So this is for the progress bar guys. Now guys, we will be adding a event listener to the input element. So basically we have given a ID to it uploader. If you closely look at the HTML, we have given an ID to it of uploader and then we are attaching a on change to it. So whenever this value changes, this function will automatically execute, which is pass code. So now we need to write this function guys, which will actually carry out the process of this compressing the video file, which is sorry, merging the video files. And this target will be equal to the files array. So this will be a arrow function. So inside this guys, what we need to do, uh, let me see. This will be a arrow function. So inside this trans code guys, we need to first of all load the FFmpg library. This is common in every application. Then we need to make input paths. This will be an empty array. And now we will loop through all the files which are there inside the files array. So as we are uploading multiple files, so we need to loop through each and every file here. So we need to extract the name from the files file here. We will store it inside a temp variable just to change the file name. If it contains any sort of spaces, we will just uh, attach a random file name to it of like this. You can just see here. So in order to get the file extension from, from the file name, we will write a separate function. So basically this, the responsibility of this function is to get the extension of the file. You can see that we are passing the full file name. So after that, we can call this function get file extension and we can pass the full name of the file, which is stored inside name property, sorry, temp. So in this way, guys, you can handle the situations whenever file name contain invalid characters or numbers. After that, we can write this file using file system module. This is common in every application. If you build name, we need to await fetch file, which we imported fetch file and pass the name. That's it. So this will write the file guys. So sorry, this needs to be file, not name. After you write this file guys inside your, we need to push this inside our input paths, push and we will push it like this file followed by the name. That's it. In this scenario, you need to write this like guys. So just after this for loop guys, we need to read the input file, which we created. So we need to write this file once again. So we will call this as concat underscore list or txt and this input paths, we will join it like this input paths dot join and we will insert a new line character to it just to have the lines in their own individual lines. So just to add a line break. So we are adding this line. Uh, new line character. So after this guys, we need to run the FFmpg command. So we will say simply await FFmpg run dash F name await. Sorry. Here we need to use concat dmx. So you can see concat filter we are using then dash save. This is actual command guys. You can see this needs to be zero. And the rest of the command is we need to provide the input again dash i. 
this is the file which we created concatlist.txt which contains all the files that needs to be merged in a txt file text file and after that guys lastly we need to give it a output file name which will be you can give it anything but i will give it as output mp4 so now this command will run guys after running this command our output dot mp4 file is ready now we simply need to read this file inside and store it inside data variable so we will simply say ffmpg file system this time we will read the file which is output dot mp4 so after reading this file guys all the data will be present inside this data variable so now the thing is required guys you need to download it as attachment so this is common in every application so i will just copy paste it and explain to you so we are showing the again button we are hiding the uploader and uh, the the merge button and then we are downloading the file as the attachment which is that's it this is all that you need to guy do guys and also when we click the again button we need to reload the page so we can simply paste this code here that's it so this completes your application guys now we can test it inside the browser so you will see the app is running perfectly so if i now refresh the application try to upload these two files so you will now see uh, let me see if at input paths or oh, sorry i written this uh, so this needs to be push so just make this slight adjustment guys so simply again refresh the application so now you can see that processing video in seconds so now you can see it is processing the videos so ultimately when it reaches 36 it will download it let me choose a smaller file let me choose this file which is 5 seconds long you can also select a single file also so you can see that when it reaches the required amount of time it will download it the file as attachment and uh, you can see that you will say that it typically takes a lot of time but yeah it uh, takes a lot of time because it is doing the background processing so that's why you are saying a lot of time is taken so you just need to wait your required result is you can see that now the required amount of file is downloaded so typically it takes a lot of time but you need to wait because ffmpg is doing all the processing so that's why it is taking a lot of time so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much